Hello YouTube, welcome to the workshop this time and this is a item that I picked up last week at a ham fest and I've been told to keep an eye on for a vacuum tube multimeter and I spotted this one and was assured that it probably worked so based on that I risked $10 uh, and uh, purchased it it's a uh, Lafayette 38-0101 and I understand these were also marketed under the brand of Accurate so they're identical uh, devices with different branding on it and so I've uh, plugged the uh, unit in let it warm up for a while I did notice some erratic um, meter movement and in the past I've uh, assumed there's some dirty contacts in there so I've given a bit of uh, contact cleaner onto the rotary switches here between the various ranges the other thing I did was a check of the battery. Now I didn't even recognize this as a battery. Uh, this could have been in the device 40 plus years uh, from uh, Hamburg, Germany. Still has got some, um, uh, still got life in it but I've replaced it with a, uh, a fresh Duracell today. One thing that I've uh, noticed and I'm not sure if this is typical of uh, vacuum tube voltmeters is uh, needing to do a bit more adjustment um, with the various ranges than I have uh, on uh, other meters that I've got here, for example, this little old Radio Shack uh, Micronta one, uh, which is only an ohms adjust, all the DC and AC uh, settings work fine. But I've noticed if I go through the various ranges here, and we're starting off here, we'll have a look, at, we're not quite zero there, so if I zero, if I zero here, and switch through the ranges, now that's fine, no movement at all, so I'm happy with that. That's good there, that's good there. And it's only when I get to the last position that I'm noticing uh, that it does need to be uh, adjusted a little bit. Now that might be quite normal and uh, expected, so uh, I'd like to get that confirmed. If that's the case, uh, there's really nothing more to fix, just enjoy using it. Now, I also noticed if I go across to DC this time and do the same exercise, I'm getting much the same sort of thing. Very similar. So that's fine, I'll go across to ohms now and I can adjust that right to the infinity mark, right about there. And again I'll swing through the ranges and there's slight, a little tweak needed there as I work through the ranges. The one that is uh, causes the most uh, issue though is AC. If I come down to here, see the meter's hard up, pegged over bring it up to the next setting, getting closer, and then we're on zero for the next three ranges, or that range, next one, and the next one. So it's really only that last position that's giving me uh, any concern at all. So, uh, if people could let me know if that's to be expected, or there's uh, some more cleaning to be done, and uh, yeah, I think I've uh, got a good working uh, vacuum tube voltmeter, uh, if I can get that little thing sorted out.